Hey, hello. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Kotesh We Create, Lifestyle Niche. A few days in the week, I'll give you Kotesh Chronicles, where I'll speak on trending issues, and I'll also give you a little story time on something that I may have experienced. Sundays, look out for my vlogs, all right? My vlogs are going to be featuring me during the week, the things that I would have done. I'll be sharing that with you. Now listen, over here I do things my way, a pleasant warning. And, and outside of uh, my vlogs and story time, everything else will be alleged. Please, people. I am not going to will myself into being sued by the machine. <laughs> no, let's do this. Hello everyone, by now I guess you know that I come on here to give my opinion on trending stories on social media before I do my major vlogs on Sundays. Now listen, Kanye and Kim's drama has been going on for a while, at least in the public eye. In my opinion, I do believe that they were going at it before, long before we became aware that there was all this trouble in the Kardashian West household. But then the newest thing was Kanye complaining about his daughter being on TikTok. Okay, Kanye, where were you when Kim created this, this TikTok account for her and her daughter? Weren't you and Kim in the same household? I would believe that if you would have had the power to, to do anything about it, it would have been when you and Kim were together. So now Kanye it looks really suspicious that you're suddenly concerned about your daughter being on TikTok with her mom because she's being supervised with her mom and you're complaining. Look, in my opinion, Kanye is just complaining and ranting because he is bitter. Kim moved on and she was not supposed to move on. Kim was his preference. How dare she? Remember his preference? And I'm also surprised and shocked that his preference would be behaving in such a defiant manner. This, these are all the things that are upsetting Kim. Now her mere presence, her mere existence is pissing him off. It is upsetting him. But the thing about it is that he's complaining about his daughter and, and making that an issue. But he's not worried that she's going to see her, all of his rants and him taking her mother down and him talking about inappropriate things on social media. For as long as you put it out there, that's it. Social media has now become the new age therapist that all these celebrities find appropriate and fine. And it's okay to go to, to, to air their private business. And then when you, when you have an opinion on what they're saying, suddenly, why are you talking about it? It's, it is private. It cannot be private anymore if, you have, if you're putting your business out there. It is ridiculous. Kanye's real problem is Pete Davidson. That is Kanye's problem. He is Kanye's. He lives for free in the two upper floors of, in Kanye's head. Now the other day he's talking about taking back the culture from Kim. Kanye, what are you talking about? Isn't this the same person who said slavery was a choice? Okay, Kanye, we see you. We see you. Now you see why um, he called Chris Jenner. Kim Jong-un because I, I, I could totally understand I completely understand how she was when he was together with Kim when he was with Kim because you would have to actually be careful and control him he has to be managed <laughs> he has to be managed because he is out of order however Kim thought maybe I, I'm, I'm saying because it happens that she was the better woman no Kim no you see what he did to, to, to Amber Rose Okay. Girl, you got the same man Amber Rose had. 
The same man who comes to social media to embarrass and to belittle the women that he would have spent a whole lot of time with. He knows no boundaries. Kanye is out of order, out of line, and out of control. And I am, my mind is telling me that Kanye is going to do something stupid that is going to land him in the hands of the authorities. Because he's a train wreck. He, he lacks self-control. Kanye lacks self-control. He's manipulative. He wants to, to control the situation. That is the reason why now he's bringing people on, you know, looking like him and all that. He's trying to control the narrative, but he's going about it in the wrong way. He started this. He started this. He keeps burning bridges to smithereens. His manipulation continues. By the way, have you seen uh, the Vogue cover? Kim was featured on the Vogue cover. Well, that had me laughing. I didn't even know it was Kim. I really did not know it was Kim. So you see, all these very um, prominent outlets are rewarding Kim. I mean, the, the pictures look a bit ridiculous because Kim is white, not black. So they're adding fuel to the fire and I'm sure Kanye is pissed. I, I can see this not ending well if he does not get himself together. I mean, even if he doesn't, well, that's on him. These, these issues are rich people problems. But we're here for it. They keep delivering and we'll keep talking about it. It is something for me to do in between my vlogs. Yes, thank you for the, the, the salacious tidbits. <laughs> All right, thanks for spending time with me again. As usual, I'm grateful. I'm happy that you've been here, that you've taken time out of your busy day to spend some time with me. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, comment on my content, share. Please, you know I'm a new YouTuber and I'm trying to just get my, my, my feet in the door. So thank you so much. Stay safe. I'm also on Instagram. Very active on Instagram. My store, Kotesh Inc., is on Instagram. And I'm on TikTok. Please, we can link there. Let's stay connected. Stay safe. And as usual, it was a pleasure.